devil is the accuser and the accuser of brethren. Let's go to the Bible and read some Bible. And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. Notice this, the whole world is deceived according to the word of God. He was cast out into, into the earth. So this is what's going to happen in the future, right? He's going to be cast out into the earth. So the hell is going to actually be in the earth, under, right? Where we stand, right? Let's, let's read. And his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. Jesus, right? For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. So notice, the devil is the accuser, right? He's the one who actually makes you sin, and then he accuses you day and night, right? And uh, yeah, many people, they will believe, like, if you believe in the curses, right? If you do this and this sin, and you not obey this law and this law, so yeah, it, it's going to happen to you, right? It's the manifestation Gonna bring, you're going to be under the curse of the law, right? But uh, for us, saved, we are safe. No evil shall prevail against us, you know what I'm saying? And, um, this is salvation. Read in the 10, And I heard a loud voice in heaven, I was come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accused of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood, right? So by the, by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, we overcame all these accusations. Uh, they have no power. And by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto the death, right? So, yeah, uh, this has to be understood uh, spiritually, right? Uh, the real believers, they're very excited, you know, to meet uh, Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they do not love. Uh, things of this world uh, they love god first uh, and it is like this this is the what you can say the reborn spirit or whatever it is right uh, when you believe in christ you automatically get the, the get the spirit you will automatically understand these things and you can you can still go out in, into the world right and uh, you just become like uh, like the prodigy, pr uh, prod prodigy son, the prodigal, prodigal son, right? Uh, you're just gonna find yourself with the pigs, you know what I'm saying? With the pigs, eating pig food. You'll be like, damn, what am I doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you will go back to your father, and the father will take you. Uh, he will take you back with his open arms, and he will give you clothing on. And he will give you food. And he will, it will be the finest food, you know what I'm saying? And he will make a big party for you, you know what I'm saying? This is the love of our God. He's always there for you. He's always been there for you. And he will never forsake you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is, that is the power. There is the mercy of God. There is the love of God. You know, we. There's nothing wrong we can do. There's no sin. Uh, they can separate the love from Father to you. And no matter what these Pharisees will say, oh, this and that. If you do this, you go to that. You do that, guys. There's two things in this world that separate you. To either go to heaven or hell, there's two things you can do. You can either believe in Jesus Christ and go to heaven, or you can reject Jesus Christ, blaspheme the Holy Spirit, and reject the truth that you are a sinner and Jesus Christ died for you. And if you don't believe in this, that he is God, manifest in the flesh, that he died for you, and you reject the beautiful truth, then you will go to hell. That is the Bible. That is the bad news, right? Uh, that you will go to hell. But the good news is you will go to heaven if you believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. 
May God bless you. In the name of Jesus, amen.